Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw Sonic. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the head, draw a long curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Place this line close to the bottom edge of the circle and draw the right side higher than the left side. Now draw a curved vertical line for another construction guide. Draw this line close to the left edge of the circle. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. On the left side of the head, next to the horizontal construction guide, draw a small curved line for the first part of the nose. This line should be similar to the letter C. Extend the bottom part of this line inside the head so that it ends where the construction guides intersect. Now add a curved line at the top to close off the shape. Make the left side of the nose wider than the right side. Inside the nose, at the top, draw a small oval for a highlight. Now draw the shape of the muzzle on the bottom section of the head. Lightly sketch a long wavy line along the path of the horizontal construction guide. The middle part of this line should dip lower than the sides. Curve the right side of the line downward toward the bottom edge of the circle. Draw the bottom part of the muzzle along the lower edge of the initial circle. Draw the left side of the muzzle under the nose. When you get the shape of the muzzle right, darken the line. Pay attention to how wide this shape is. The right side should be very close to the right edge of the initial circle. The left side of the muzzle should be slightly wider than the initial circle. High above the muzzle on the right side, make a small mark for the first part of the eye. Now extend the right side of the mark downward to create the side of the eye. Extend the left side of the mark down toward the nose to create the other side of the eye. The left side of the eye should be made up of a sloping line. Curve the bottom tip of the line upward along the vertical construction guide to create a furrowed brow. On the left side, draw a diagonal line for the top part of the other eye. The two eyes should form a single wide continuous shape. Inside the eye on the right, draw a long thin oval for the first iris. Place the iris near the top edge of the muzzle. On the left side, above the nose, draw a half oval for the other iris. Inside the irises, draw small ovals for the pupils. The top part of the oval on the left will be blocked by the furrowed brow. Draw a short line on the top part of each oval for highlights. Now shade the bottom parts of the pupils. On the left side, draw a curved vertical line along the path of the initial circle to close off the shape of the eyes. Above the eye on the left, draw a curved line for the thick brow. The left side of this line should be outside of the edge of the initial circle. Above the eye on the right, draw another curved line to finish the brow. Follow the path of the eye as you draw this line so that the shape is similar to a big arc. Inside the muzzle on the right side, draw a sloping line for the first part of the mouth. At the top, draw a shorter line for a smile line. At the bottom, draw a longer curved line for the rest of the open mouth. 
Inside the mouth, at the top, draw a curved line for the row of teeth and at the bottom, draw a shorter curved line for the tongue. On the top right side of the head, lightly sketch a small triangular shape for the first ear. Extend the bottom tips of the ear inside the head so that they're close to the brow. When you get the shape of the ear right, darken the lines. The shape of the ear should be similar to an upside down letter V. Inside the ear, draw a smaller triangular shape for the ear's opening. The bottom part of the ear should be very close to the brow. On the left side, above the brow, draw another triangular shape for the other ear. The ear on the left should be smaller than the ear on the right. Above the ear on the right, make a small mark to indicate the top edge of the head. Now connect the small mark to the brow on the left using a long curved line for the top part of the head. The left edge of this line should curve down along the edge of the initial circle. Now extend the top part of the line farther to the right to create the top part of the first spike. Pay attention to the distance between the end of this line and the ear. Below that, draw a shorter curved line for the bottom edge of the spike. Now draw another spike using a couple more long curved lines. Pay attention to where the bottom tip of this spike is in relation to the head. The base of this spike should be very close to the right edge of the initial circle. Draw another big spike at the bottom using two more long curved lines. Draw the tip of this line far down below the head. The shape of this spike should be similar to a big curved letter V. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Color your drawing using colored pencils, markers, or even crayons. And that's it for Sonic. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.